Hi, I'm John, and this is the 50th pedal that I've built. This is my blue warbler. It's an envelope vibe that I designed. And this was built for DIY stomp boxes turkey day competition. It's got two controls over here for the LFO section. This is the rate, controls how fast it goes, and the depth that controls the intensity of the effect. And over here is the sensitivity for the envelope control. There's a couple other tricks inside there that I'll get to during the actual demo. And in the center is a switch that goes between vibe mode in the top and tremolo mode when it's down. There's a couple other pedals sitting over here that I don't have one at the moment. One is a compressor because it will change things based on um, how hot the in input signal is. And the compressor generally changes how a um, envelope circuit reacts. And over here is a light pedal that I'll turn on because um, it doesn't have its own modulations, so sometimes it's nice to add a warble to the repeats. This is my bypass signal. And I'm just gonna put all the controls at halfway in vibe mode. So a pretty subtle effect on in vibe mode at halfway. You can turn down the depth. I'm in, in this mode it pretty much disappears. You can turn the depth all the way up for a really deep. And with the rate all the way up, it gets nice and watery. And it won't get super slow, but this is this is reasonably slow. some of the envelope controls now. When you turn the sense down, you'll see that it actually affects the speed a little bit. Maybe not too, too easy to see, but when you turn the sense all the way down, it actually kills the LFO. And one of the internal controls is a volume trimmer. So you can set this up as just a very mild boost, or you can you can build it with the volume on the ex on the outside too, or if it's just a preamp. Because unlike uh, unlike some other LFOs, this one this one won't die when you just turn the depth all the way down. So it's helpful to have a have a way to kill the LFO. And on really on really low sensitivity settings, your guitar will pretty much never trigger. Pretty much you never trigger the envelope it, on, on really low settings unless you're running in a, a really hot boost in front or something. Um, and that's useful so you can keep this as just you know a normal tremolo or vibrato. And when the sense is turned way up, you'll, you'll see that it um, so it's flashing and then when I play a hard note. Oscillation for a second and only only applies the effect to the trail end of the note. And it's a pretty gradual roll off. Um, that's that reminds me a lot of how singers and really good guitarists do their do their vibrato. And then. You don't want to. You don't want to just always be playing vibrato. You don't want to just always do that. So, so it's much more expressive to have it apply in certain parts, and that that makes this a really good expression tool because 
<laughs> if you're if you're lazy or if you're doing something else and you can't really concentrate on on some of the expression, it'll it'll do it for you. The other nice trick about sensitivity control, when you turn it all the way up, you'll see it stop flashing, but when you play, it applies the effect to the front end of the note and then gradually stops applying effect. And that's kind of interactive with where you have the rate and depth set. Um, if you turn the rate up, it'll it'll warble faster in the beginning. quite as long when it's when it's set faster. See when the rate's turned all the way up it's just maybe one or two warbles and then it stops. And then when it's turned all the way down, it'll go on for quite a bit. But again it's it's actually where you're setting the knobs so you can control how fast it goes when it actually does trigger. It's also interactive with the depth. So if you set the depth up part higher, it won't the effect won't last as long. And there's another internal control for the decay, so you can you can fine tune that if um, if you don't like the stock setting. I, I generally have it set about um, halfway on the decay knob. Um, so let's roll the depth off a little bit, roll up the speed, let's go over to tremolo mode. And um, one thing I really liked about this design is there's no pop going between the modes. And the tremolo is just a really classic um, sine wave tremolo. It does have a very, very, very tiny bit of um, pitch modulation or, or really tonal modulation between the peaks and the, and the troughs. And that's, that's just, that just has to do with the way I um, did it in the circuit. But you can hear it's just a really classic sine wave tremolo. And of course, the sense and depth still work the same way. And another thing I really like about about the envelope in this is it's not entirely uniform. It's it's a little bit chaotic, and that actually just makes it a little more expressive and musical to me. Um, so. And it and it does it does really um, reward tinkering around with the knobs a little bit to find some 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 of the best settings. I'm going to turn on a compressor, and it's set to um, kind of a mild boost. So if you're um, if you're depending on where you're running the envelope circuit and uh, uh, you know you, a lot of people put vibes first in their chain uh, depending on where you're running the envelope circuit it can change based on what other pedals you run in front of it as opposed to just a guitar and like I said I've got a delay over here and I'm going to turn that on it doesn't have its own modulation so it's nice to add some of the warble. And also pretty nice to be able to nice to be able to just apply warble to specific notes depending on how hard you pick. And I'll, I'll just note too, 
um, that's the 1776 multiplex, and I'll be doing a demo of that as soon as I get a chance. Um, it's probably best best selling PT2399 delay I've ever played. But this one was my blue warbler, and I hope you've enjoyed it. I'll give you one last look of it. Pretty happy with the art on this. It's a flock of blue warblers. We've got um, we've got bird feeders out back that I haven't filled in a while, but um, a couple of years ago I managed to snag a picture of one of the one of the black throated blue warblers while they were flying through. And since since I really liked how the um, blue LED sounded in the circuit when it's flashing is actually part of the audio circuit. Um, I really liked how it sounded and decided to go with a bird theme based on that color. So thanks for watching. Have a good one.